up everybody my name is shannon and i am still waiting for my seder and today we are talking about the initial insult by mindy mcginnis so if you've watched my channel for any length of time you will know that i am very fond of mindy mcginnis's books i really love like the grittiness of her storytelling and she always tells stories about girls who are just angry and messy and complicated and allows them to be angry messy and complicated and so when i heard about the initial insult and I heard that it was Edgar Allan Poe retellings. It's a bunch of them all mixed together. I was very excited because I do like a lot of Edgar Allan Poe's stories. And I will say, so I knew that it was Fall of the House of Usher. And then as you're reading, it's very obvious that it's also a Mask of the Red Death. But stupid me didn't realize it was also Cask of Amontillado, even though the cover of this book literally shows the girls being like bricked up into the wall. So that was for some reason a shock to me. I also think the reason might be because I listened to this audiobook, and while I do think the narrators did a fantastic job, they pronounced Amontillado Amontillado, and I didn't catch on that they were trying to say Amontillado until very far into the book. That part did take me out of the experience a little bit, but otherwise I really enjoyed this book. This story follows um, a girl named Tress and her once best friend Felicity. They are from two kind of opposing kind of different families in this town of Amontillado. The family blood, the family name really does mean everything. And Felicity is from a family that is very much new money, so they kind of stick out in a certain way. And then Tress's family is related to the House of Usher. Her and her uncle are kind of down on their luck. They're kind of like the white trash who lives like on the outskirts of town and something happened result of Tress's parents dying and Felicity was there so Tress wants to get to the bottom of it she wants to know what happened she is so angry she wants to know what's going on with Felicity and this story it's very short the audiobook was only about seven hours but it's telling the story of like one night of Tress questioning Felicity and them having flashbacks to their relationship because they were childhood best friends. They were like the best of friends. And then they had this falling out and like things were tearing them apart. And I really loved that. I thought it was really interesting. I didn't so much like the stuff going on in the background, but it was like more Poe stuff. I think the way that some of it was brought in was like a little bit too much like the mask of the red death like it was very like surface level like oh there's a flu going around but like the party made it really obvious and like getting into like the fall of the house of usher like i think that's more happening in the second book but like i wasn't super compelled by those characters in this book anytime it was like focused on tress and felicity and them having memories and them talking to each other i was just completely blown away now i will say i am giving this book like a b plus because i do think it could have been better like i said some of the poe like mentions some of the tie-ins weren't as tight as they could be there was also a weird point of view from a panther which was just a little bit odd. Um, I mean, it added to the atmosphere, but I don't think it really added to the story. Anything that distracted from our two main girls, like having this conversation with each other, did kind of take me out of the story. However, since it was so short, it was a quick read and you can get through it very, very quickly. I mean, if you're a fan of Mindy McGinnis, like you are definitely going to like this one. If you're a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, I'm not quite so sure, but my favorite story from him is The Telltale Heart, and that is in the second book. As of recording this video, I just started it. I've only listened to about an hour, and it is proving to be kind of similar. Like, my issues with this book are kind of carrying over to that second book, but I was really compelled to read it, and I am excited to see how it's going to turn out because we do have some new players, we've got some new voices, so... I am overall interested. So I am giving the initial insult a B plus. I definitely think it is one that you should give a look. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That's everything I got for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.